Hello, it's your girl Mary Fidelis back with a new video. To the returning subscribers, welcome back and to the new subscribers, welcome to this amazing channel and I hope you enjoy the content. Please remember to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing the videos. And remember aim to be mentally healthy. Today, we are going to embark on an educational journey to understand the intricate relationship between substance abuse and psychosis. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay informed about our upcoming episodes. Picture this, you or someone you know experiments with substances, thinking it's all fun and games. But little do you know, these choices can lead to a state of mind known as drug-induced psychosis. Psychosis is a mental state characterized by a significant break from reality. It can manifest as hallucinations, illusion, disorganized thinking, and emotional upheaval. Now, add drugs to the equation, and you've got a recipe for potential chaos in the brain. Our brains have intricate networks of neurons responsible for sending messages and maintaining equilibrium. Substance abuse can disrupt this delicate balance, triggering abnormal brain activity. When substances flood the brain's receptors, it's like a tidal wave disrupting the usual flow of neurotransmitters. This interference can lead to perceptual distortions, where someone might hear or see things that aren't really there. So, which substances are commonly associated with drug-induced psychosis? Well, the list is extensive, ranging from a. Marijuana, here 10 common effects of marijuana, 1. Euphoria and relaxation, many users experience a sense of euphoria, relaxation, and heightened mood after consuming marijuana, 2. Altered perception, marijuana can distort sensory perception, leading to changes in how colors, sounds, and textures are experienced, 3. Increased appetite, often referred to as the munchies, marijuana can stimulate appetite, leading to increased food. Consumption, 4. Dry mouth and red eyes, marijuana can cause dryness in the mouth and redness in the eyes due to its impact on saliva production and blood vessels. 5. Impaired coordination and motor skills, marijuana use can affect coordination, balance, and fine motor skills, potentially leading to slower reaction times. 6. Memory and cognitive impairment, short-term memory and cognitive functions, such as attention and problem-solving, can be temporarily impaired by marijuana use. 7. Anxiety and paranoia, some individuals may experience heightened anxiety or paranoia, especially at higher doses or in susceptible individuals. 8. Distorted time perception, marijuana can alter the perception of time, making minutes feel longer or shorter than they actually are 9 relief from pain and nausea marijuana is sometimes used for its potential analgesic and anti-nausea properties providing relief to certain medical conditions and 10 impaired judgment marijuana use can lead to impaired decision making and judgment potentially affecting one's ability to assess risks accurately b amphetamines here are 10 common effects of amphetamines one increased alertness and energy amphetamines are stimulant drugs that can lead to heightened alertness increased energy levels then wakefulness two euphoria and elevated mood users may experience a sense of euphoria intense happiness and an overall improved mood three improved focus and concentration amphetamines can enhance concentration focus and cognitive performance, making them sometimes used to treat attention deficit. Hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, dot, 4. Decreased appetite, amphetamines can suppress appetite, leading to reduced feelings of hunger and potentially weight loss. 5. Increased heart rate and blood pressure, amphetamines stimulate the cardiovascular system, leading to an elevated heart rate and higher blood pressure. 6. 
Dilated pupils, the use of amphetamines can lead to dilated pupils, making the eyes appear larger, 7. Restlessness and insomnia, some individuals may experience restlessness and difficulty sleeping, especially at higher doses or with prolonged use, 8. Jitters and tremors, amphetamines can cause physical symptoms such as tremors, jitters, then muscle twitching, 9. Anxiety and agitation, in some cases, Amphetamines can lead to increased anxiety, nervousness, and agitation. 10. Cravings and dependence. Prolonged use of amphetamines can lead to cravings and a potential risk of dependence or addiction. The hallucinogens. Here are 10 common effects of hallucinogens. 1. Altered perception. Hallucinogens can cause profound changes in sensory perception, leading to distortions in how individuals perceive colors, shapes, sounds, and patterns. 2. Hallucinations. One of the defining features of hallucinogens is the presence of hallucinations, which can involve seeing, hearing, or feeling things that are not actually present. 3. Euphoria and mood changes. Many users of hallucinogens report. Feelings of euphoria, intense joy, and a sense of interconnectedness with the world. 4. Mind expansion and creativity. Some individuals experience a sense of expanded consciousness, increased creativity, and new insights while under the influence of hallucinogens. 5. Loss of ego. Hallucinogens can lead to a feeling of dissociation from one's sense of self or ego, often referred to as ego dissolution. 6. Time distortion. Users may perceive time as moving slower or faster than usual, leading to a distorted sense of time. 7. Synesthesia. Certain hallucinogens can induce synesthetic experiences, where senses become interconnected, such as seeing sounds or hearing colors. 8. Profound spiritual or mystical experiences. Some individuals report experiencing profound spiritual or mystical insights during hallucinogenic experiences. 9. Anxiety and panic, hallucinogens can also lead to heightened anxiety. Paranoia and even panic attacks, especially in unfamiliar or overwhelming settings. 10. Impaired judgment and coordination, similar to other psychoactive substances, hallucinogens can impair judgment, coordination, and decision-making skills, potentially leading to accidents or risky behavior, and even prescription medications if not taken as directed. Let's take a closer look at some key points to remember when it comes to drug-induced psychosis. The brain's neurotransmitter balance is disrupted, causing sensory distortions and irrational thoughts. Vulnerability matters. Certain individuals might be more prone to drug-induced psychosis due to genetic factors like 1. Genetic variants in dopamine receptors 2. COMT gene variants 3. BDNF gene variants 4. Catecholomethyltransferase with COMT variants 5. Serotonin receptor gene variants 6. G72 slash G30 gene variants 7. DISC1 gene variants 8. Neuregulin 1, NRG1 gene variants 9. NRG are B4 signaling pathway variant. Individuals with certain pre-existing mental health conditions may be more vulnerable to drug-induced psychosis due to the interplay between the condition and the effects of psychoactive substances. Here are 10 pre-existing mental health conditions that can increase the risk of drug-induced psychosis. 1. Schizophrenia. 2. Bipolar disorder. 3. Major depressive disorder. MDD. 4. Borderline personality disorder. 5. Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, 6. Anxiety disorders, 7. Obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD, 8. Eating disorders, 9. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and 10. Personality disorders, 3. Duration and recovery, psychosis triggered by drugs can vary in intensity and duration. In many cases, with professional help and abstinence from substances, recovery is possible. For red flags, keep an eye out for warning signs, such as a intense paranoia. This is a psychological state characterized by intense and irrational mistrust, suspicion, and fear of others or the external world. Individuals experiencing paranoia often believe that others have malicious intentions, are plotting against them, or are watching their actions. 
These beliefs are typically not based on objective evidence and may be difficult for others to understand. B. Incoherent speech. This refers to disorganized or unclear communication where words, phrases, or ideas are presented in a confusing or disjointed manner, often making it difficult for others to understand the intended message. And C. Impaired functioning in daily life. And finally, five. Seeking help if you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of drug-induced psychosis reaching out to a mental health professional is crucial. Remember, you're not alone in this journey to recovery. So, as we conclude our deep dive into the realm of drug-induced psychosis, always remember that knowledge and awareness are powerful tools. By understanding the risks associated with substance use and its potential impact on mental health, we can make informed choices and support those in need. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more content on mental health well-being and personal development. If you have any questions or you would like to share your experiences, feel free to leave a comment below. Together, we can create a supportive community and break the stigma surrounding mental health challenges. I hope we will be seeing each other on the next video, but until then peace out.